Creativity plus talent equals art. I think most people would agree that art is the result of talented creative work. At least, that's true in many areas of life. And therefore, we want to ask ourselves the question today, is programming actually an art? Before we start, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell because if you do so, our videos will appear in your subscription box and you will definitely stay on the ball when it comes to programming because you will be confronted with it regularly. Also, I want to mention that you can download our free Captain J Sparrow tool which will help you especially as a Java programmer to improve your code quality by displaying errors or bugs in your code. With J Sparrow, you're also able to refactor your code automatically or face Java best practices. Let's get back to today's topic. We asked ourselves if programming actually is an art. And to answer this, we have first to consider how art is actually defined. For me as a layman in the field, it is somewhat difficult to define the term art precisely since the term is somehow in constant change over time. And especially since the artificial intelligence and NFT era, I no longer really know what I should classify as art or not. When you think of art, you naturally first think of visual things, beautiful paintings, sculptures or in the digital realm, 3D models. What you probably immediately think of are also audio producers who create sound effects or host soundtracks using computers. Video artists who can use programmed effects to create animals or worlds that do not actually exist, such as King Kong or Jurassic World, are also count as non-disposable artists. But those areas are not the only ones in which creativity and talent can be brought to an end product. Programming, in my opinion, is an art form because if you become familiar with it, you can utilize it to find innovative solutions to a wide range of problems. And the more artistic, effective or scalable your solutions are, the more talented a programmer you are. Once you have beautifully formatted and worded it, it makes it super easy and quick for outsiders to understand. It can represent algorithms that are extremely creative, even super efficient, and code can also be used to create audio-visual art. Think of video games for example. Thankfully, it is not a question anymore whether video games constitute an art. And code is of course one of the main components of video games alongside all the obvious art contributed in the form of graphics and sounds. So programming is definitely an art. I'm not saying that programmers should consider themselves great artists because of this. The average programmer should not do that at first because there is absolutely no need for that and you also shouldn't be arrogant. But as a programmer, you should still appreciate your work for what it is. As a creative work which, if used properly, can bring significant benefits to society. It can be an easier life for users of your program, a source of inspiration for someone else or just a form of entertainment like in video games for example. But now I'm going to ask you. How do you see it? Do you think that programming is an art? Please write it to me in the comments, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing your opinions on this. By the way, if you definitely want to turn code into art, then you should definitely take a quick look at Captain J Sparrow which is your Java refactoring partner. J Sparrow helps you to improve ugly or unfavorable code and offers you to refactor your code as well. So you can use what we have already tested in some open source projects with an extremely positive result and the best part is that you can do it for free. If that sounds interesting to you, then just click the link in the video description, we would be happy to see Captain J Sparrow helping you. Of course, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more videos and it will help you keep your motivation up to get a successful programmer. I would really appreciate it. With that in mind, we will see each other again in the next video and until then I wish you a lot of fun and success with programming. Goodbye!